The Ender 3 V3 is compatible with Cura, Orca Slicer and Prusa Slicer. However, there are still no ready-made profiles in these respective slicers and this may remain the case for a very long time. So that you can still use it with your favorite slicer, I will show you in this video how you can create your own profile with the correct settings for it in Cura, Orca Slicer and Prusa Slicer. First, let's start with Cura. In the first step, we create a completely new profile for the Ender 3 V3 in Cura. For this, we use an empty profile as a template. To do this, click on the active printer and then on Add Printer. Click on Non-Ultimaker Printer. Search among the non-networked printer for Custom, select Custom FFF Printer, enter the name of your 3D printer and click on Add. Then the machine settings will open, where you have to specify certain hardware parameters of the printer. The V3 has a print volume of 220 x 220 x 250 mm. It also has a heated print bed. And although its firmware is based on Clipper, we specify Marlin as the G-code flavor. You can ignore the print head settings for now. They are only important if you want to print in the one at a time print sequence. The two fields at the bottom contain G-code snippets that will be executed before and after each print. For the Ender 3 V3, these codes are relatively short. On the second page of the machine settings, we only need to adjust the compatible material diameter. And with that, we have successfully set up the Ender 3 V3 in Cura. Cura now creates several printing profiles for different layer heights. However, many of the settings in these standard profiles are unsuitable for the Ender 3 V3. We have to adjust them and create our own profile. The V3 comes with a 0.4mm nozzle, allowing it to print layer thicknesses from 0.0 to 0.3mm without any problems. The first layer should be a bit thicker to improve adhesion. The line width is around 0.4mm with this nozzle. For most projects, a wall thickness of 2 to 4 lines and a thickness of the top and bottom layers of four layers are suitable. I always start with an infill density of 5 to 10% to save filament on the first test prints and ensure that the overlap of the walls with the infill is set to 10%. At too high values, there is a risk that the infill pattern will show through the walls. Among the material settings, basically only the temperatures are important in the beginning. Start here with recommended standard values for your filament and carefully calibrate the print temperature afterwards to get rid of printing errors like stringing. With the temperature of the print bed you can't go wrong much as the PEI print bed offers very good adhesion. Here standard values are usually just right. The speed settings are more interesting as they are directly influenced by the hardware of the Ender 3 V3. Although the V3 can reach a printing speed of up to 600 mm per second, I have achieved the best results with a general speed of 250 and 150 for the outer lines. To also improve the print bed adhesion, I reduce the printing speed for the first layer to 10 or 20 mm per second. This may seem a bit extreme at first glance, but it is the best method to improve adhesion. Also, among the speed settings, you find the acceleration control. And thanks to its construction, the Ender 3 V3 can indeed reach a maximum acceleration of 20,000 mm per second squared. But a good compromise is a general acceleration of 5,000 for the walls 2,500 and for special surfaces 1,500. If you should notice printing errors like ringing or ghosting, you should not only reduce the printing speeds but also the accelerations. The retraction found under the travel settings definitely has to be calibrated to avoid printing errors like stringing. For PLA, starting values of 0.5 to 0.7 mm for the retraction distance and 40 mm per second for the retraction speed are suitable for the V3. There are over 500 print settings in Cura, which I cannot go in detail in this video. However, you can download my standard settings for PLA, ABS, PETG and TPU for the Ender 3 V3 and import them with just a few clicks so that you can print directly with Cura without much effort. You can find the link to my calibrated profiles in the video description below and in the pinned comment. In Orca Slicer we also start with a new user-defined profile for the Ender 3 V3. Click on the active printer and then on Create Printer. 
In the new window that opens, name your 3D printer, enter the correct nozzle diameter, the print volume and the maximum print height. In the next window, you have to specify a template for the printer settings, for the printer preset. Select the 3D printer that appears most similar to the V3. Also activate all filaments that are of interest to you and then click on Create. In the next step, we define the printer settings just as in Cura. You can open the printer settings by clicking on the icon on the right of the active printer. A new window opens with several tabs in which you can configure the printer settings. Among the basic settings, the print volume and the G-code type are important. Under the machine G-code, we enter the same code as for Cura. Define a retraction length of 0.5 mm and a retraction speed of 40 mm per second in the extruder tab. The most important process settings are a layer height of 0.1 mm, 0.2 mm for the first layer, a line width of 0.4 mm, a first layer speed of 15 mm per second, a speed of 150 mm per second for outer walls and 250 mm for the rest, a general acceleration of 5000 mm per second squared and 2500 for the walls. You can also find my profile for the Orca Slicer to download in the links below. You can simply import the configuration file into the slicer and get started without delay. Just like with the other slicers, we start with the printer settings in a new empty profile in Prusa Slicer. In the printer settings, click on the active printer and then on add or remove printers. Click on custom printer, activate the checkbox define custom printer profile and enter the name of the printer. Then click on finish. In the general settings, enter the print volume and which G-code type it uses. Under the user-defined G-codes, insert the appropriate G-code for the N3 V3 again and under the settings for the extruder, define a retraction length of 0.5 mm and a retraction speed of 40 mm per second. Importing a ready-made configuration in Prusa Slicer is just as easy as with the other slicers and can be done in just a few clicks. Remember that you should calibrate the most important print settings for your filament in order to avoid printing errors such as stringing or ghosting. The printing temperature, retraction and the printing speed are particularly important. I show you how to calibrate your 3D printer in detail in my 3D printing course. You can also find the link to the course in the video description and in the pinned comment. And if you are struggling with print bed adhesion, you can find the solution for that in this video.